Wagwan Wagwan, welcome back. In today's video, I'll be showing you guys how I transformed these pants from the thrift store into these chained up shorts. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Okay, first I tried the pants on, then I marked how short I want the shorts to be. Then I'm going to lay the pants on a flat surface and fold it in two. That way when I go to cut the legs off, I can have the same cut on both sides. Okay, so once you've adjusted the pants, making sure that there's no folds underneath, then you can go ahead and make that cut. I want to keep the waist of the shorts so I'm going to start that cut a little bit down from the waist. Okay, if you want to keep the pocket, all you have to do is just sew along the side that you cut off. And to pin it into place and then take it over to my sewing machine to sew along the side. Okay, so at first I was just going to do the chain um, or the lace up just on the top um, of my thigh But I think I'm gonna do the whole side of the short so I'm just gonna cut that out completely except the waist Before we get started, I'm just gonna show you I got this eyelet kit from Amazon It comes with everything that you need except the hammer so you will need to get a hammer if you don't already have one at home. It also comes with the user manual just to show you how to place everything if you don't already know how to do that. So I'm going to use the flat side just to position where on the shorts that I want them, um, the holes. And then I'm going to use a pen to mark out um the circles to cut out afterwards okay so after marking out the front side i'm gonna mark out the back you want to make sure that these are positioned the same so that the holes lined up together After that, I'm going to go in and cut out the holes. You want to make sure that you're not cutting the holes bigger than what you marked out because it can ruin putting in the, hat, the eyelet. Okay, so I've already went ahead and finished one side, but I'm going to show you guys how to do the other side. As you can see, I decided to go with the gold instead of the silver. Okay, so I'm going to take this to, gr to the ground because I want to make sure that I don't ruin my table. So um, I'm using an old cutting board from the kitchen. <laughs> you guys can use like a, any kind of wood material or something sturdy to do this on. So you want to take the tube side of the eyelet, um, you want to push that in the hole. I am pushing it from the right side in, 
Then I'm using my fingers to adjust the hole a little bit bigger so that it can fit over the tube. Then take the flat side and put that over the tube. Then get your base and put that under or you can just put it on the cutting board then place your um, garment on it then use your tool push that in the hole so the flat side is facing up then use your hammer to um to hammer it down you may want to practice this on something else before doing it on your jeans just so that you don't mess it up because it's really hard to get it off once it's on the jeans. Um, so you want just to practice it on something else just to make sure you got the process right. And then you can just keep repeating those same exact steps. You may see me use my scissors once in a while just to open up the holes or um, I may use my fingers just to snug the holes a little bit bigger. That is perfectly fine guys. It's better to have the holes smaller and then you have to adjust them than them to be too big. I love how the shorts is looking so far. Now I'm going to put my chains in. I got these chains from Walmart in the Julie section and I'll put the link to all of that in the description box. So um, I'm not sure, you can either put the chains in from the bottom up or the up down because I've seen some people do either way. I prefer um, from the top down. So. Um, this is pretty simple it's just pretty much like lacing up your shoes just like making x's all the way down you can also use the hooks that come in the pack um to hook the bottom but i'm just going to just tie the chain Okay, this last step is totally optional, but I want to put some ropes in my shorts. So to do that, I'm going to draw um, some lines in the middle. So, uh, for the first, you want to do three. Three stocks on each other. So the first one is going to be two inches. The second one will be three inches. Um, and the third one will be about three and a half to four inches. So I'm using my ruler that way I can draw the straight lines on both sides. Again, if this the lines are not that straight, it's okay because they're supposed to be like raggedy rips. Okay, then I'm going to go and use my scissors to cut a line along those lines. After that, I'm going to take the chains back out, throw the pants in the dryer so that the ribs can get um, raggedy, and then the shorts is good to go. 
Okay, so I took the shorts out of the washing machine, put the chains back in, and I absolutely love how it looks. I'm about to wear them tonight. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, and don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you.